Hi, welcome to today's online art workshop. My name's Claire Mitten and today we're going to look at some um, pattern finding. We're basically going to use a viewfinder to hone in and help us select and edit um, some different motifs in our room around us. And then we'll use a basic sort of flip and repeat um, technique to grow a pattern from our initial designs. Okay, so first off, um, I want you to use one of your A4 sheets of paper and we're going to create a really simple grid on it which we'll use to make our, our pattern. Fold an A4 sheet of paper in half four times and unfold it. This will give you a 4x4 four four grid of 16 rectangles. We'll use this for the pattern making part of the workshop where we'll transfer and repeat a motif into each rectangle to grow a pattern. To make a viewfinder, cut out a window in a piece of card. We're going to make it the same size as the rectangles on our folded A4 sheet. So that's 74 by 54 millimetres. This is just for ease so we can easily match everything up. Um, we'll use it for a template um, to draw rectangles for drawing in our motifs and then that will match up to the folded sheet so we don't have to worry about scaling our drawings up. So now we're ready to find some motifs. First use the window of the viewfinder as a template and draw a few rectangles on a piece of paper. We'll draw our motifs directly into these. Use the viewfinder to zoom in on different areas of your room and look for unexpected moments or angles. Think simple, perhaps looking for fragments of things, for shapes and colours that aren't contained neatly as a whole within the window, as these tend to link up in an interesting way when flipping and repeating a motif. You can draw directly from what you see or take a photo on your phone and work from that if it's easier. So I'm looking at my view of some daffodils and I'm trying not to worry or get caught up in too much detail. I'm just focusing on pairing it right back and simplifying it, editing out, just blocking in some of the key shapes and colours. Okay, so pause the video for 10 or 15 minutes and have a go at finding and um, drawing some motifs from the room around you. So then with your tracing paper, just overlay it over your motif and trace around the main outlines of your design and then flip over your tracing paper and repeat the pattern, flipping and repeating, flipping and repeating um, in a preferred way around the sheet of folded paper. So when it's not sped up about 20 times faster, this is a, quite a nice meditative part of the pattern finding activity. So really enjoy this bit. Um, I'm using felt tips and crayons for ease um, and I like the mix of those two mediums. But you could use whatever you like really. Um, you could use some paints, um, you could really take your time and you know, do it really carefully and beautifully or do it really quickly as a way as a first step um, and then you can refine your design later.
So welcome back. How did you get on? Here's my daffodil pattern, which has a kind of kaleidoscopic cosmic feel. I'm enjoying how the background, black and red and orange, is reading a bit like floor tiles. And the daffodils have taken on the feel of kind of suspended decorations. I left out um, a rectangle at the top left and I'm enjoying how that feels a bit like one of those sliding puzzle games and I'm wondering how I might reconfigure it and scramble this pattern up and have a go in another way.